Hello, my friend. My name is Olumide Omokogar, and um, this moment I will be showing you how to download a Coinbase wallet for your transactions, okay? For your Bitcoins transaction in this business, okay? So, the first thing you need to do is to go to the Play Store, and which is this. Can you see this here? So, this is the Play Store. So, you click on it, all right? Type in coin payments. Can you see it's already out there? I'm going to type it out. Coin payments with the S. Then you search for it. Now this is what it looks like. Can you see with the wallet? Okay, blue uh, background. So you click on this. Then you see that it's already installed. So all you just have to do is you download it and install it into your phone. Then you open it like this. All right. So what you want to do first is to create your username. So whatever username you you choose to want to use, you go ahead and type it here. So I'm going to type in my username. Well, two. Then you enter your email address. Okay. And you know what? It's very important that you have all this information typed out somewhere before you get started. So that when you don't make errors, you don't make mistakes. You understand? I always have everything written down somewhere. So this is my username already. So I'll just copy it. Paste. Then password. See, I didn't type in my password here because I don't want you to know my password. But for example, you can see EGA, you can see Abdul um, 239, whatever. So make sure you always type out your password to know because I discovered that a lot of people tend to always forget their passwords. You understand? Because they have just too many passwords they make use of. So if you have it written down, then it won't be a problem for you to remember. So write it down. And also note that your password needs to have a combination of capital letter, as you can see there. It needs to have small letters and numbers, okay? So let's go ahead and enter my password. So you confirm your password. Then you click on create account. So I'm clicking on that right now. Then you enter your coin payment pin, just like your ATM pin, okay? I'm going to do that right now. Then that's all you need to do. So, you forget about this POS, you don't focus on that. What you focus on is the wallet, okay? The wallet. And once you're here, that is all you need to do, okay? You can play around the settings. You'll see your address book, set passcode. If you want to change your, your, your pin number, you can come here and change it. Then uh, here is your currency. It's always in USD, okay? USD dollars. Um, you can invite your friends to use this app, okay? By clicking on this invite button, okay? Then um, I think that's basically all. Then um, if you want to send bitcoins to somebody or receive bitcoins, you click on wallets. Can you see this? Please don't focus on this. Only focus on this. All right? So wallet. Then um, you say receive and send. So once you click on receive, it's going to bring out your receive ID, which is this, okay? So once you click on it, can you see where the root tap to copy just down here? So you click on it and it will copy. Do you understand? So let me show you that it's copied. So I'm just going to paste it here just to show you that it copied, okay? Can you see? It started with 3Q and ended with Z7. So let's confirm it. 3Q. And ended with Z7, so it copied. So all you have to do is just tap, you tap, and it will copy. Do you understand? You can just always come here to copy. Just tap on it and copy. Then you send to wherever you want to send it to, so that bitcoins can be paid into your wallet. Do you understand? Then if you want to send bitcoins, you come here and click on send. Okay. You enter the wallet address under here where you see two. Okay. You enter your wallet, the person's wallet address. Okay, you enter the person's wallet address here where you see two. Okay, then you enter the amount you want to send 0 0.03015. Do you understand? Okay, so it's going to give you the amount in dollars and you click on send. Okay, but right now I don't have anything in this wallet. So once you click on send, in a page will open up for you where you have to com confirm your payment. So you just click on the check sign. So once you click on it, it will go. That's just to show that you've confirmed it, okay? Basically, that's all about how to create your coin payment wallet account. You understand? So it's as simple as that. So go ahead and download yours and start making use of it. And you know, coin payments is very, very good for 
um, the business we are currently doing, which is Cash Pro Pro. Do you understand? So the transaction is faster making use of this app. You get so it's as simple as that. And it doesn't have all these authentication issues that blockchain has. And the transaction is quite fast. Do you understand? So you can start making use of this. I want to show you how to recover your funds if you happen to lost your phone. Okay, or you probably formatted your phone, or probably something just went wrong with your phone, and you you lost the coin payment app on your phone. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to recover your funds. So the first thing you need to do is to download coin payments all over again on your device. Do you understand? You need to download coin payments from Google Play Store on your device. Then you're going to come to this section. You'll see something like this. You see sign in or sign up. So since you already have an account, you just click on sign in. So let me click on sign in right now. Can you see it says scan QR code in the API key section of the coin payment website? So this means that we need to go to the website to get the QR code for this. You understand? So once you click on close right now, your camera will be automatically turned on. Do you understand? Your camera will be automatically turned on. But I don't have a QR code open up yet. So I'm just going to close this. Okay. Now. We need our goal now is to go and get the QR code. So let's go and do this. Get if you want to get your QR code, ensure that you are using a different phone entirely. Maybe you can just borrow a friend's phone to just you know go to the website and get your QR code, or you do it on a laptop so you can get your QR code on your laptop because you will be using your main device, your main phone, to scan the code. So you, it won't be wise for you to do it on your main phone. It's either you borrow a friend's phone or you get a laptop to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go straight to the website. Now, this is a website right here, www.coinpayments.net. Okay, so that's a website right there. So once you enter this website there, it's going to bring you here. The next thing you're going to do is to click on these three dots, this, this three line option button okay that's what you're going to do so i'm going to click on it right now then you scroll down and you select login okay so it's going to bring you here so you enter your username or email address and the password i used to create your account so i'm going to do that right away then i'll enter these um, characters Remember that this process needs to be done on a different phone or on a different laptop. You understand? Because you need to scan the QR code with this particular phone you are using. Okay? You need to scan it. So let's log in right now. A two-factor authentication code will be sent to your mail. So you just go and check your mail. So it has been sent to me already. So I'll just come here to, you know, copy it. This is it right here. Can you see where the root code? So you just copy only this. Copy this, go back, and you paste it. Then, success. Now you are in your wallet. All right? Now, the next thing you need to do is to click on this option button here. Can you see that? So you click on it right now. If you are using a laptop, before you get to this stage, uh, you're going to see where they say, let's get started. So you see merchants and wallets. Okay, you, you select wallets. Okay, a, a new page will open up for you. And what you will see now is going to be wallets with Bitcoin logo there. Then you see dollar pay by name. Okay, so you select wallet again. You understand? So once you do that, it will bring you to the dashboard. You understand? And that's all for that. So once you are the dashboard, all you just have to do is click. That's for laptop users I'm talking about right now. So if you are the dashboard, you see at the top part of the screen, you see accounts. You click on accounts, okay? And after clicking on the account, you see some options will come. And what you are looking for is the API key. So that is where I'm going to continue from right now on this phone. So I'm going to now click on this option here. Then can you see accounts? Okay, so you see the same thing like this on your computer, you understand, or laptop. So you click on the account, then you scroll down, you see where they wrote API keys right here. So you click on the API keys. So this same process also applies on the computer, okay? 
So once you click on API keys, you're going to see where the roots. Can you see what I'm putting my cursor on right now? It says looking for an app key for the coin payment app. Okay, click here to get one. That's what it says there. So for you to get one, you need to click on that. So you click here and you scroll down. So this is what you're looking for. Just this QR code is what you need. You understand? So once you get this, you just go ahead and scan it with your phone. Now let me show you an example. If you're using a computer and you have the API keys, you see where they wrote generate keys. You have to click on that generate new keys first. And once you click on it, then this exact code will come up. Do you understand? So once it comes up, you just scan it. So let me show you an example. I'm going to scan this right now. Just to show you how it works. So I'm going to click on sign in, close. Then can you see it here? So I'm going to scan this right now. And that's it. Close. So it's going to log me in. This is exactly how it works. So you enter your coin payment um, pin code, just like your ATM pin code. Okay. Can you see? So you click on wallet and so on. So with this process I just showed you, you would have recovered your coin payment funds with ease you understand so you have nothing to worry about okay so it's as simple as that so remember remember my biggest desire is to see that every one of you are successful in the cpp business and you're attaining greater height every single day okay so i really wish you all the best god bless you and bye for now